uh, yes, increase sexual intercourse and use of uh, helps. You have seen ladies, they like using sunko. You have seen, especially prostitutes, actually they like using sunko, but also ladies, they like using sunko. So as a gentleman, you need to be careful with these things. They put it under the tongue. So when they put in sunko under the tongue, and the reason is because uh, the 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 help on sunko makes the the them to become hyper. The body becomes warm, and then what, because of the physiology, when the body is warm, things are much better. Apart from that, the other thing is that it makes the the, the mucous membranes to be dry. So you find that including the power that is going to be dry, making this man to release much later. So you find that prostitutes, they use that so that for them it is business. So, so that's what makes their business to even grow. But you find that because the valve is always dry, it results in severe friction of the valve, which increases infection levels, making such individuals coming frequently to the hospital to seek for medical help relating to infections of the valve. If it could be filled with inflammatory disorders or other infections, including sexually transmitted diseases. So those, they become high because of use of such helps. So as a student, you should, you should avoid those things. So you find that when that happens, you need to do valve swabbing and clean the valve. So let's say the scenario reads, Mrs. or Miss X has been brought to your medical ward uh, with history of septic abortion, task performed valve swabbing, so as to aid in vaginal specimen collection to aid with diagnosis in five minutes. So what they want you to do is perform valve swabbing. After reading the scenario, the first thing is that you need to sanitize. So after you read the scenario, the first thing is that you need to sanitize and you go and get permission, every, every procedure. So you come to your patient, good afternoon, Miss X. I'm student number 451 from Mosa University. I've been assigned to do valve swabbing so as to uh, prevent infections. Can I go ahead? Yes. Anything I can do for you around health five proceed? No, thank you. I'll be back to do the procedure. From there, you even need sanitize. At this particular point, you need to don in examination gloves. So you reach your bottom shelf and don in clean gloves so that you examine your patient nicely. So as you are donning in clean gloves, you are going to carry with you the marking torch as well as the brush. So you come back, Miss X. I'm back. I just want to put the marking torch to prevent soiling of the linen as well as for your comfort. So you even nicely put the marking torch as well as the draw sheet for comfort. Then apart from that, you're going to get the bed pan and let the patient sit on the Bedpan. So this should be put in order patient like that. Okay. So at this point you even tell Miss X, don't worry, I've exposed you a bit, but I've screened to ensure privacy. Let me just prepare the instrument that I'm supposed to use. I'll be back to do the procedure. You even remove the examination gloves and you get your sanitizer, you sanitize. So every sterile procedure, like I've always been saying, it has four, four steps. Permission, after permission, assessment, which I've done. From assessment, your third step is preparation. So at this point, after sanitizing, you start preparing and put the things that you need. So you are going to say this is normal saline expiring in 2021 or 2022, it's potent for use. You even go away from the label. Apart from that, you are going to find that 
the sterile gloves would have already been exposed on your sterile field. If they are not exposed, you are going to use the cheetah forcep. Now it will take time for me to get the cheetah forcep. So you need to use the cheetah forcep and you drop them there. But for any host procedure, you find that the gloves will be prepared for you in this particular manner. So meaning all you need for you is to pour normal saline on top and then you are ready to scrub. The gloves will be like that. Apart from that, you are also going to pour normal saline on the empty guard point. The same normal saline. At this particular point, I have everything that I need to do the procedure, meaning I'm ready to scrub. So you will get your sanitizer and show how to scrub all the way to the elbows, even this side all the way to the elbows. You even dry your palms nicely. One corner dries the palm, the other corner dries the back of the hand all the way to the elbow. The third corner dries the other palm in that particular manner and the last corner will dry the back of the hand all the way to the elbow. And you hold on the middle and drop it nicely. Then you don't need no gloves. So at this point you are doing this procedure quietly without talking because talking is intimidation. Yes, like I'm, the way I'm talking meaning I'm contaminated. I'm just talking because I'm demonstrating but as you perform not talking, you only talk on the mission. And once you scrub, do not be too casual, you are even dropping hands like this. When you drop hands below your waist, you are contaminated. If you raise them like you are surrendering somewhere above your head, you are also contaminated. So they should just be within your chest region, not above and not below your waist. So do not be too casual to drop them. So after preparing at least five swabs, you are going to get the normal cell line which you are poured on this receiver and the pour on the valve like that. So this normal saline helps soften whatever would have clustered on the valve so that you can clean nice. This receiver, I mean this gun port will go back on the sterile field. It is not contaminated because it has not touched anywhere. So it comes back on the sterile field in that particular manner. Then you get your first swab, you will pass it on to this palm and start cleaning the valve with the left labia majora, which are the mitre lips. Then you discard. You get the second swab, you drop it here, you wipe the right labia majora, you discard. You get the third one, you wipe the left labia minora, which are these minor lips. You get the fourth one, you wipe the uh, right labia minor, you discard. Then you get the fifth one, which is the last one, together with a gauze. This hand will come here and split wide the introitus, which is the middle of the valve. So this would have been closed in, if it's in the actual human being, just that this is a mannequin. So you need to open it. I don't know if that is how it is because I've never seen it. But you will open it. Then you wipe the introits in that particular manner. Then you discard. So at this particular point, you are done. You even get the same goals. You but dry the skin. You even discard. Meaning you are done with vulva swapping. You even remove this and start giving IEC. Thank you so much, Miss X, for allowing me to do the procedure. I'm done cleaning your valve. Ensure that you continue cleaning your valve in a similar manner. Do not use any antiseptic 
solutions as they may cause problems. Do not apply any herbs as those may also uh, worsen the condition. If you feel any worse uh, or if you, feel you have any questions, you are free to approach the nurse and we'll be able to help you. Thank you so much for allowing me to do the procedure. You even remove your sterile gloves, sanitize for the last time and see our document and report to the in charge. So valve swapping as a procedure, that is how you do it. So when we come to do high vaginal swab, do not get confused. Any questions?